What's up, YouTube? Pastor Bob here. This is a vintage uh, AM radio. It's all tubed. And uh, funny thing is, is I opened it up. Nobody's ever been in here. I don't see any replacement of any diodes or capacitors. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely replace all these capacitors. Because what happens is over time, they have what's called leaking. Um, that doesn't mean that the capacitors themselves leak juice or anything. All it means is uh, the current passes through it. It no longer holds it back. So uh, in the field of electronics, they call that leaking. Um, I'm no professional electrician by no means. And uh, I have very minimal experience at it. But, you know, I'm always learning. I always wa I watch videos and read books and it can be scary, but that's your main capacitor right there, right there, that big sucker right there, that 50-50. And what that 50-50 means, it means that there's wires that come out of here, right? So you got a ground, a common, and then two different wires, right? So half of this capacitor is uh, 15 microfarad, right? And the other half is 50. Right, and that's how they do that. And then you have another one which is common. So you got your red, your orange, and your black. And in this case, uh, I don't know which one would be orange after all this time, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. I'll go to an expert. I'll go check out Mr. Carlson's lab. I don't know if you guys are into electronics or not, but uh, I watch a lot of his videos. Mr. Carlson's lab. That guy is smart as a whip. He really is. He's a really nice guy. Um, sometimes when he gets to talking, though, you can tell his intellect takes over because he loses you. But if you can follow him and you can go back and you can uh, view his... Um, videos what a plethora of information i mean just absolutely a perfectionist so i watch his videos to do this stuff and see if i can fix it but i wanted to open up and make sure that uh, it was original it has never been touched it has never been touched at all which is really good because the worst thing that you want is somebody fiddly farting around in there, right? <laughs> yep. Pretty cool. Doesn't look like it got hot any. Uh, there's no corrosion. It looks pretty straight. Now, here's something that I learned from uh, Mr. Carlson's labs is that whenever you get an old one and you want to start seeing if you can get it working or whatever, unless it says, absolutely says, and it's guaranteed that it was restored, do not plug it in. Because if you do, <laughs> you just might be ending up across the wall. You'd be on the other side of the room going, what the heck just happened? And, and some of these were grounded out to the case. And, you know, you can get a shock from that. So you got to be very careful, you know. If you don't know much about electronics, don't fart around with it. Go get a class. Go watch Mr. Carson's lab. He gives, um, he gives classes online, too. You can learn a lot from the guy. He's a really, really smart guy. And there's a lot of smart guys, but I just wanted to show you that. It's pretty cool. I'll show you the front. This is an old, old Westinghouse, I think. Yeah, yeah, old Westinghouse. Check that out. Yeah, I fixed that. I super glued that, and then I'll sand it down. 
And I super glued the top, which had a crack, and I'll sand that all down and buff it all out nice. And uh, pretty much that was it. All the pieces were there, so. Yep, and I got the tubes. All except for one. I don't know if they're any good. I don't have a meter to meter them, but. Yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, another project that I do while I'm sitting here watching TV. Something to do. Always staying busy, right? Okay, guys, something a little different. Probably out there in left field somewhere going, oh, my God, is there anything that guy don't do? Probably not. I'm always, I'm always earnest to learn something new. Right? So, anyways, I hope it interests you. Like, share, subscribe. Pastor Bob's out of here. See ya.